Hey guys, welcome. Come on in. Don't be scared. I'm Alicia Milan and welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to be courageous and walk in my own shoes and own my truth. <laughs> I'm Alicia Milan, actress and creative practitioner. Welcome to this journey where I will create stories, monologues, poems, and even have creative talks, especially for you. When I thought of what to do with the very first post on this channel, I couldn't think of anything other than Queen Bee. Queen Bee is very dear to my heart because it's a play that was created in collaboration with Margot Wood after the passing of my mother. And for me, I wanted to do this play as a tribute to my mother, honoring her legacy. And for Margot, she used this as a research project. And so for both of us, it, it was just such an insightful journey. And maybe one day she comes over here and talks through the journey with us. But I'm not validated to speak on that at all because I was living my own separate life <laughs> in that rehearsal room. Um, it, was, it was quite an experience. And um, the play itself is basically me reminiscing the life of my mom and telling stories about our life. But it was so smartly collaborated with the actual life of a queen bee and the beehive and the bee colony. And so for me to have just taken a monologue out of that play and do it on year or record it would not have done it justice because it was technically so intense as well. We had a lot of imagery, a lot of projection, a lot of voiceovers. So what I did is I recorded just little snippets of the narrative and created a little montage and hope that it inspires you to keep on creating. That's all I'm here to do because we know that acting and creating, it's not a destination. It's just a journey. That's all it's about. The play starts with my character or me actually going to a work function and getting the dress code wrong. So she rocks up as a bee. So in it, you'll see some crazy pictures of our rehearsals and, and me with the crazy bee costume. Oh, how could I have made such a mistake? Who reads an invitation and gets the dress code wrong? Note to self, smart casual does not mean dress up like your favorite animal. Wait, am I an insect? A bee. I went as a bee. The look on people's faces, and of course I had to arrive late and make an entrance. Oh, so embarrassing. Mm. Mama always used to say, when you have an aching tummy, eat some lettuce. I don't know. Apparently, there's something, something in you that makes the tummy feel better when you've got a tummy bug. <laughs> I remember when we were younger, we would go out partying and the next morning we'd miraculously have a tummy bug and my mom without a doubt would say eat some lettuce it's funny how food was always the answer to everything hmm. constipation apple's good for that indigestion eat a banana sore throat have some honey Headache, drink lots of lots of water. Heartache, let's go for dinner, my child. Hmm. 
my mom was a bee. She would have made lots of honey. She was always busy. Always busy cooking, planning, prepping, cleaning. Such a busy bee. This one morning, she couldn't get out of bed. She experienced some chest pain. I said, Mom, how bad is the pain? But she was so used to underplaying her pain that she said, don't worry, honey, it's just a numb feeling over here. But I looked into her eyes and I knew that something was wrong. I called my sister and we rushed her to the ER. The doctor turned around and said, she's having a heart attack. No, 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 I mean, this can't be happening. My point of reference to people having heart attacks is from the movies, where people cough and, and gasp for air and they can't breathe. So it is now my duty to ensure that my mom's legacy remains unspoiled, and her words continue to ring in my ear. There's a time for everything under the sun, a time to live and a time to die.